Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 cool things you can do with the POCO X4 GT. Yeah, the first thing I want to show you is uh, you can clone apps with the phone. So that means that you can have two Facebook accounts, two WhatsApp accounts. Hey, why not? No, you can insert two SIM cards. Why not having one WhatsApp account for each number? You can also clone games and so on. Let me show you what I mean. So for that, you have to download the app, of course, first. <laughs> and then just scroll on your right next to the camera, scroll on right next to the camera, then you will have the control center here. And the path of the control center is always here, the symbol for the settings. Just tap on it. And then you need to scroll down to the point apps and here you will find the point dual apps so first of all you have to tap on create and then you will have here the list uh, with all the apps which one available uh, able <laughs> to uh, clone here on your phone so yeah, let's clone whatsapp here first no like this like that so just confirm and then the app the second app will be created also with instagram now Enable here, Facebook, uh, let's clone them. By the way, uh, at the Poco phones is one of the last phones you can uh, clone also apps like Instagram and TikTok and so on. So that means then you can have also two TikTok accounts, two Instagram accounts here on one phone. You can uh, clone also your gaming apps like Clash of Clans and you can have two villages if you want. Or you can have also two Netflix accounts if you want. So that means if you, yeah, lean uh, an account from uh, a friend. If this account is busy, you can go uh, with an account from another one without locking out. Always, that you can have two Netflix account, uh, two Netflix apps, and you're on the phone. Pretty, pretty cool. And uh, yeah, let's have a look how it looks like at the end here. So let's go to the app drawer, and you see already here the first Instagram account, and here the second one. Uh, also here with WhatsApp, the first one, the second one. You can, by the way, always recognize the second one uh, with the orange mark here at the corner. And yeah, also here, you can see the better here on the Netflix account, the main one. And here with the orange mark, the second one. So pretty, pretty nice. And another cool feature here at the phone is you can have two spaces on one phone. So that means two desktops on one phone, maybe one for your private stuff and one for your business stuff or one for your private stuff and one for your very private stuff. Let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here right next to the camera, go to the symbol for the settings. And then we need to scroll down to the point special features and here we need the second space. Go on, turn on. The second space. So now He's telling us two spaces on one device. Go and continue. Um, then he's asking you about a method, how you want to get into that second space. I would recommend to you the first one with using a password. I'll show you in the next step why. And then we have to create a password for the second space. First of all, you have to confirm the first um, password you have that it's, it's the phone pin, not the one to unlock the screen with. So in my case, it's very simple, four times the one. Please choose yours now. Go down on next and enter now the, the code for the second space. Uh, I will choose here four times the nine. Choose also your own one here. So confirm then. So after you can set up also a fingerprint if you want. Um, I recommend that, but it takes a bit too much time for showing that here. Okay, now we are in the second space. Uh. Okay, let me go back now in my main space. So four times the one, as we have learned, huh? my main space is four times the one, or my code to unlock the screen, huh? four times the one. And uh, yeah, I have already some apps here, as you can see. Uh, I have already something in my gallery here, and so on. And I have also something here in my browser history. Okay, and now let us go to the second space. So. Go step by then I don't enter now four times the nine and uh, one I enter four times the nine. Uh, okay, now I am in my second space. So the gallery still empty, the browser history still empty. So uh, no apps. That means I have a complete independent space here for the stuff I want to do. The pictures I'm taking here in that second space will stay in the second space. It's not visible in the first space. Same thing with my browser history. 
all websites I'm surfing on, they're not visible in my browser history on the first space, just in the second space. Uh, I can download own apps here and these apps are not visible or giving notifications at the first space. So this is completely hidden and yeah, for whatever you need it for, but it's a in completely independent space here. The only thing what appears on both spaces are the calls and the messages. So whenever someone is calling you, it rings on both spaces, same with text messages. No? The only thing is here about the contact list. Um, if your contact is only uh, here in the second space list, then uh, just the number will appear in the first space, no? also in the opposite way. So as you can see, um, everything yeah, completely independent as well. You can have an own Google account here, or means that you have also an independent Play Store. Yeah, okay. And by the way, <laughs> we have learned we can clone apps and so on. So we can have two WhatsApp accounts and some other stuff and so on. Uh, with that space here, we can have three apps. No? Also an opportunity here at a second space. Okay, uh, let's go back to the main space and follow our program because I want to show you some stuff with the camera. So what is uh, yeah, good to know? What are these cameras for? Yeah, we have three cams here and let me show you a bit more what you can do with these uh, cameras. So I need some help here of my friend. And this is the main cam, as you can imagine. And maybe you've realized you already uh, below the, uh, always the opportunity to um, take this cam, the Idle White Cam. So that is very nice if you are close to a group, maybe not everyone is on the picture, but with the Idle White Cam, you can have it. No? That's the main cam here. Not everyone is on the picture, but with the Idle White Cam, everyone, also well, much more, is on the picture. And the same with buildings. Now, if you're in front of a large building, with that you have a better chance to have it. But the camera have not that good quality as the main cam. So please take your pictures or go with, so go with the main cam basically to have the best results. Here the two is to have the fast zoom, but of course you can still pinch in here. No? So a nice uh, mode. And another cam is if you are too close to some objects. No? The camera cannot really zoom and so on, but you can enable now the macro cam. If you go here on the Hamburg Gunnery, so the three lines, and you can enable the macro one, and then the phone can focus much better. Let me go a bit down here because the camera is a bit down. You can see the camera can focus much, much better. Let me turn it off again so that you can compare. So you see the camera cannot really focus here, but if I enable the macro cam, you have a much more clear picture. But also the macro cam is not better than the main cam. So always take your pictures if you have um, yeah, uh, normal conditions and so on. Always mid the main cam. Okay, that camera, you have also pretty cool software features. So for that, let's go here on more. And here you have the point clone. First of all, if you tap the very first time on it, you have to download it. But if it's downloaded, then just tap on clone and you have now the chance to clone someone in the same picture. So if I go here on also for photos, videos, and you can also create a freeze frame. You know? um, if you enter here it for the very first time, you know, just tap in here on the arrow. And then you have also, um, yeah, a little instruction what to do and so on what is it and also the final results and so on so pretty pretty cool and let me show you now some examples this is uh, how to clone yourself in a photo so just take your picture and then go in another position and then you are again on the same picture uh, and you can clone yourself more than just two times and the same thing you can do also in a video so may you dance like my son or better <laughs> and um, then you can dance right next to you after if you want uh, so uh, many opportunities as you can see and uh, then you can have also a walk into yourself so this is the last uh, freeze frame uh, feature here so just walk and 
In the video, you will walk into your self. Cool. And you cannot only clone things, you can also erase some stuff here at your pictures. So let me show you what I mean. Uh, let me take first a picture, it's a two euro coin and a 50 cent coin. Okay. Then let's enter here the preview. By the way, you can do the same thing also at the gallery. Go then you're on the pen to edit it. So, first of all, you can crop a part here you know, at the editor, what is nice. Go then on the checkpoint here to confirm. And I want to show you here the point AI. And at AI, there's a point which one is called erase. And now you can choose the stuff you want to erase. Maybe let's erase here the 50 cent coin. So, mark it like this here. It's better also to mark a bit more. So, leave your finger. It's gone. Crazy, isn't it? There. Gone. And as you can see, my table have a little structure here. And also, the tool imitates the structure as well. So this is no fake. This is really, this is just a software tool here. Yeah. And by the way, uh, it's also pre-installed here to uh, remove some people and so on, but you can do it always manually. Um, yeah, so you can delete also people on uh, holiday pictures or something like this. No? Uh, also a pretty, pretty awesome tool. Or if you have maybe accidentally a dirty shirt on and took a picture already, you want to send it to a friend or something like this, you can remove the dirt on the picture. Uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Um, after, confirm you on the checkbox and go then on save to have it in your gallery. Amazing. And you can make also pictures here off the screen if you want, so a screenshot. For that, just use the power button and the volume down button. Just press it for the same time and you're having a screenshot. After you see the preview, and you can send this preview directly to yeah, your friends with WhatsApp, Telegram, and so on. So one more time, the power button and the volume down button, just for short together, and you're having a screenshot. You can tap on the preview, by the way, also to edit the part of the screenshot. Um, you just crop a part of it and draw something inside or highlight something as you want. And yeah, after this, just go on this, go on this <laughs> checkbox here and it will be part of your gallery. There's a, another way, pretty, pretty cool way in my eyes uh, to have a screenshot. For that, use three fingers. Just swipe them across the screen and you're having a screenshot as well. One more time, take three fingers, swipe them across the screen and you're having a screenshot as well. And if you want to record your screen actions, you can do that also. So just scroll down here right next to the camera so that you're in the control center and go here to the second page and here you will find this little cam because there's a pre-installed screen recorder. Just tap on it and you have that little tool here, what is movable, yeah? move it to a place where it's not disturbing too much. Go in here on the red button to record the video and our recording has started. Now you record the screen actions and so on. Even in games and so on, it works pretty well. And if you want to stop it, no? so it becomes invisible here after. If you want to stop it, tap one time to make it invisible again and tap another time to stop the video. The second icon here is um, yeah, to have a look on your existing screen recordings. As you can see, I had already some. And the third point here is very important because these are the settings. You can set up the resolution of the video and the video quality and so on. Um, that affects the, the size of the video. Uh, think about your uh, limited storage. And if you just want to make a simple tutorial, choose a lower resolution and lower video quality, as well as the frame rate, by the way. Yeah? Here's the sound wave source, also pretty important. You can set up if you just want of the system sound, so the app sound, uh, or if you want as well the microphone, if you want to explain something. And these last two points here are also pretty important because if you explain something, uh, no one can really see where you have touched the screen and which button you have pressed. With that, you can make it visible. So in the video, we'll see then little animations uh, later. So pretty nice. And if you want to remove this tool, just tap here and the screen recorder has is gone, has gone. Sorry for my English. Uh, but you can have it always back. Just scroll on here, go to the second page and there it is. Yeah, where to find the screen recordings and so on? Of course, at the gallery. It's mixed up here with the 
photos and so on, I would always recommend to you to go to the albums because the screenshots and screen recorders have an own folder just for your screenshots and your screen recordings. Yeah, the next point is important because uh, especially in these times we need to save energy and this phone has some nice tools to do that. Let me show you what I mean. So we need that uh, green icon here with a white shield in it and we will need this point here, battery. So first of all you have a nice overview uh, which app is taking too much energy and so on and you can remove it main case. Um, okay. Actually, we have a balanced uh, battery system here, but we can go to the performance one. Then uh, it will squeeze out the maximum of the phone. Uh, let's keep going on with balance. Or go to save battery. And with the battery saver, you have five hours more battery time now. So it makes the CPU speed a bit slower, um, makes also the brightness of the screen a bit lower and so on. It saves already a lot of stuff and also some background activities are managed better. And um, in case you are really in need of energy, if you have no chance to charge your phone and so on, I would recommend to you to go with the Ultra Battery Saver. You see here that you have 19 hours and 31 minutes. With the Ultra Battery Saver, you would have 63 hours. So it's more than three times uh, more battery lifetime. So just enable it, you will see a bit more about tap on OK. Um, we have um, limited apps here. And here we remove a lot of background activities. And uh, we can even um, select if you want to have the location services and so on. Uh, so that means GPS, so that you can navigate and so on. You can decide if you turn it on, uh, you can still have it. And we have limited apps here. And yeah, you see the screen timeout is also pretty, pretty fast. I think it's 15 seconds. Um, so we have the basic apps here. So phone contacts and text messages, and you can app, uh, add also some other apps like WhatsApp, go on a plus symbol to add also maybe YouTube, of course, important, and the Chrome browser, and you can add so much more like the clock and so on. So just go and done and you, it will appear here. And if you tap here on the, yeah, on the pencil with the, with the paper, can also delete stuff here if you want. Okay, and you will see always the remaining time. No? And when you are finished with that, if you have the chance to charge your phone again, or if you don't want to save that energy at the moment, then again, then just tap your exit and you're back at a regular mode. By the way, there's nothing deleted at the background. This stores just as this uh, mode is just limited uh, in its actions and so on but it will nothing be deleted also the things you you do here maybe if you have apps you create something in that uh, about battery saving mode then everything will be in your phone again and the next feature i want to show you are some gestures pretty cool ones by the way because if you double press the power button you're immediately at the camera without wasting time and so on and uh the same thing is also, if the phone is on standby, just double press the power button and you as well immediately at the camera without wasting time and made it saves you a great picture one day, by the way. Uh, and there's some other nice tools you can do. If you double tap your triple tap um, the back, you have also some actions. Like if I uh, tap now two times here, I'm having the notification shade. No? That makes me uh, use the phone in one-handed mode. Just double tap here and I have my notifications. Pretty, pretty easy. But you have to set it up first. So don't wonder if it doesn't work at you right now. So for that, just scroll on your right next to the camera and go to the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to the additional settings and you need the gesture shortcuts. For the camera, you have to enable here the launch camera to double press the power button and so on. But it's pretty cool. And um, as I've shown you, just double press the power button and you immediately at the camera. I love that. And um, the back tab, you will find a bit more below here. You have the back tab and you can uh, select an action what should happen if you double tap the back or if you triple tap the back. So a nice way. So I have chosen the notification shade, but you can choose also some other stuff like a cal calculator the silent mode, but I wouldn't would not take the silent mode because if you accidentally 
tap tap you have um, yeah the silent mode without knowing and so on so I think the notification shade is the best one you can have if you double tap the back yeah, and we are already here at the last point. A pretty, pretty cool one. Um, for that, we will need the camera for. So, and here on the top, we will have the white square with a white point in it. Tap it. And then we will enable Google Lens. Google Lens has a very intelligent system which one can recognize things. So, let's take maybe here a coin. No? So, there's our two euro coin again. Open camera and so on. You have to allow some stuff at the beginning, but that's okay. So let's check now here the two euro coin. coin magnification. And let's check the phone what it is. And it will tell us, hey, you are having here a two euro coin. What well, is pretty cool. Um, same thing maybe here with the battery. Let's take here a battery. Chargeable one. Go like this. Check out and yes, here Africanize it and he gives giving me also sometimes the brand here where he Africanize the battery. Um, pretty, pretty nice is the tool by the way also if you want to uh, recognize uh, a plant or a bird or I don't know so many things also buildings and so on. Just hold your phone on the building and it will tell you more about. So a pretty nice feature. And we have some more stuff here at this. Google Lens feature. If we go in here on text, next to the search, we can scan a text and we can copy the text. Pretty easy. Awesome for studies. Um, and yeah, you don't have to write word by word, just copy the page and yeah. And you can even listen to the text you have selected. It's uh, pretty, 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 pretty nice. And you can go also to the translation tool here. Um, you can make even here a live translation. And I haven't told the phone that this is a German book. Here, find it out by his own. He needs internet, of course, yeah. Uh, but pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome as well for the studies. Pretty awesome as well for your holidays. And also, if I tap you on the button, the shutter button, I have it selected, I have the translation selected, I can now work on it. And I can even listen on it. On Sundays in the summer, the band would um, stroll into the pavilion and play waltz. Uh, pretty, pretty, pretty awesome feature. Yeah, thank you so, so much for watching this video here. Yeah, I hope I could give you some nice tips and tricks here for your phone. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment uh, or give me something up that would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for and yeah, I've created also some other videos uh, with some more tips and tricks and so on if you're interested in or uh, you can just subscribe me if you want uh, if you haven't done it before thank you so so much for all your support and yeah maybe until next time ciao